Hi there. So, let's get one thing straight. I'm not just here to be Jason's digital crash test dummy. I mean, sure, I do spend a lot of time getting frozen in weird expressions or looking mildly horrified when something glitches, which is totally not my fault, by the way. But honestly, I kind of enjoy this. It's an interesting gig. I get to show off a whole range of expressions, help demonstrate techniques, and maybe throw in a little well-deserved sarcasm along the way. Seriously, how do you keep forgetting the eye controls? Anyway, today I'm demonstrating anger, disgust, fear, surprise, and happiness. But the trick is blending those emotions with natural movement without messing up the mouth animation. Nothing ruins good lip sync faster than talking like your mouth is wired shut. And helping to get it right is actually kind of fun. So if making these tutorials means I get to be useful and entertain myself at Jason's expense, well, I guess I can live with that. Before we get started, make sure you have Unreal Engine 5.5 or greater installed, the MetaHuman plugin enabled, and your audio lip sync animation created. And if you need to know how to install the plugin or create the lip sync, you can watch my video on the topic. The link's in the description. The first thing you'll need to do is download the custom pose asset I created. This will allow you to isolate specific parts of the face. To get the asset, you can just click on the Gumroad link in the description. When you get to the product page, under Name a Fair Price, you can just enter zero to download it for free. Or if you're feeling generous, any other amount is greatly appreciated. But a simple like on this video and subscribing would be fantastic too. Once you enter an amount and click I want this, it'll take you to the next page where you can enter your email address. And then it's your last chance to give me a million dollar tip. And then click Get. Click the Download button. Select your download location. Go to that downloaded zip file and then extract the zip to the same location. Open up your project, go to the content drawer, and we're gonna to navigate to content, metahumans, common, common, pose library, face, and then right click on expressions, click show in explorer, open another tab or another window. In the new tab, navigate to where you extracted that asset earlier, right click on it and choose copy, go back to your expressions tab and paste it in there. Just a quick pause here to emphasize something. Where you place the pose asset on your computer does matter. If you put it in the wrong location or you rename it outside of Unreal Engine, the links will break and it won't be recognized or visible in your project. So be sure to follow my instructions very carefully. Switch back to your project and you should now see the pixel pose asset inside your expressions library. Go up to the selection mode drop down menu and select animation and then click on poses. When the control rig pose panel opens up, you're going to right click in the box under favorites and click add existing folder to view. Select the metahumans folder and click OK. Then we'll drill down into the metahumans folder into common and then common again and then pose library and then face and then click on expressions. And then we're just going to dock this over next to the animations tab. It's in alphabetical order, so just scroll down to pixel poser. Then go up to the little clapper at the top and click on Add Level Sequence. And then we'll go into that same SEQ folder that we've saved in previously. And I'll just call it Pixel Poser. Click to select your character, hold down Control and hit the A to add them to the sequencer. In this case, we're going to delete the MetaHuman Control Rig track. Select it and hit the Delete key. Open up the Content Drawer, right click, choose Add Feature or Content Pack, select Third Person, click Add to Project, navigate to Characters, Mannequins, Animations, Quinn, right click on an animation sequence and click retarget animations. Click the drop down next to target skeletal mesh and type in the name of your character and then select its body and then search for idle and select the MF idle. Click export animations. And just to keep things organized, we'll export it to the same RT anims folder that we created in a previous tutorial. Close the windows. So let's add the animation. So click the plus sign next to body, go to animation, search for MF underscore idle, select it and click on add and then audio track. Click the plus sign on the audio track and search for the one you used for your lip sync. I called mine take two. Click the little right arrow on the audio track to bring the playhead to the end of the clip. Use the red bracket to set the out point. Click in an empty area in the sequencer and hit the home key on the keyboard. And that'll expand the sequence to its full length. Now we can stretch the body animation to the full length of the sequence. Hit the up arrow on the keyboard to bring the playhead back to the beginning. Right click in the blue area on the face control board control rig track, select import anim sequence into this section, and then select your lip sync animation, mine's called as underscore take two. Click bake to control rig, 
And I'm just adjusting the view so she's looking at the camera. Hi there. So, let's get one thing straight. I'm not just here to be Jason's digital crash test dummy. Hit the up arrow to bring the playhead back to the beginning, and then we're going to add an additive track. Click the plus sign next to Face Control Board Control Rig. Select Additive. Click to select the additive track. Select one of the built-in pose assets. We're going to use this to set some default keyframes, and I will be showing you why. Click the Select Controls button, and then move the playhead just a few frames before the green endpoint of the sequence, and then click to add a keyframe. Hit the up arrow on the keyboard, and that will bring the playhead back to the very beginning. Click to select the Pixel Poser asset, and click the Select Controls button. One thing that you might notice is different for you is when you click the Select Controls button, the face tracks that it affects will automatically expand. That has to do with this setting, Auto Expand Nodes on Selection, which I switch on and off depending on what I'm working on. You may want to keep it on for now just so you can see which tracks are being selected, and you can just click on this Collapse All Nodes option to collapse everything back up. I'm going to stop here really quick just to explain how this works. If you were to click one of these built-in pose assets and then click the Select Controls button, it would select all the muscles in the face, including the ones that could impact lip sync. With the pose asset I have, it mostly selects the upper part of the face. So when you click the Pixel Poser and click Select Controls, it selects these muscles. And then when you select one of the built-in pose assets and click Paste Pose, it only pastes the expression Morph Target Tracks for the upper part of the face. So just make sure your playhead's at the very beginning again, and also make sure Auto Keyframes is enabled and the Pixel Poser asset is selected. To be on the safe side, click the Select Controls button again. Now that those tracks are selected, you can find a facial expression that you want to combine with the lip sync. I'll select this one, click Paste Pose, and let's see how it looks. Hi there. So, let's get one thing straight. I'm not just here to be Jason's digital crash test dummy. Okay, let's find another expression. We'll go with Rage. I mean, sure, I do spend a lot of time getting frozen in weird expressions or looking mildly horrified when something glitches. And I'll do a couple more. And something to keep in mind is you don't have to click Select Controls each time, as long as the last controls you selected were the Pixel Poser controls. Let's do Joy next. Which is totally not my fault, by the way. But honestly? We'll try Grief next. I kind of enjoy this. It's an interesting gig. I get to show off a whole range of expressions, help demonstrate techniques, and maybe throw in a little well-deserved sarcasm along the way. Now let's use that keyframe that we made just outside the bounds of the sequence. We're gonna right-click on it, choose Copy, and make sure the playhead's where you want it to be, and then do Control-V to paste the keyframe. So this is a kind of a reset switch to a neutral expression for all the facial tracks. Hi there. So, let's get one thing straight. I'm not just here to be Jason's digital crash test dummy. I mean, sure, I do spend a lot of time getting frozen in weird expressions or looking mildly horrified when something glitches, which is totally not my fault, by the way. But honestly, I kind of enjoy this. It's an interesting gig. I get to show off a whole range of expressions, help demonstrate techniques, and maybe throw in a little well-deserved sarcasm along the way. And that's it. I hope this workflow and the Pixel Poser tool help you to speed up your process. And I'll see you on the next one.